That's gloves. The buzz of anticipation around this arena is palpable. This fight brought to you by Tune Talk. More than just a prepaid. Judge. Don't forget, we're looking Judge. for our Tune Talk Judge. fight of ready? the night as well. Ready? This one, ready, go. very likely a candidate. They touch gloves in the center of the cage. Three five-minute rounds ahead of us, potentially. Evting looks nice and relaxed as Shalarus jumps in with that left hand. Wide-eyed Evting, isn't he? He's got his chin out there a little bit. He's got to be careful. Shalarus has a very dynamic striking style with wild punches and some brutal kicks. And he's happy to stand within range as well, Evting. There's not much distance between them. Perhaps that's why his eyes are so wide. He's looking so carefully. Interesting. Shalarus is pushing away from the possible clinch. He's landed with a couple of good lefts and a big kick to the belly there from Shalarus. You know, when you miss weight, yes, it's a, it bothers you mentally, it, you know, it distracts you, but the only way to get over that is to put on a tremendous performance and just sort of wipe the slate clean. Team looks nice and relaxed and composed, moving laterally really well. But he's got to keep those hands up because that was a narrow miss from a huge left hook thrown by Shalarus. Oh, this right hand is huge, and Evtin just ducked underneath it, sort of just tucked his chin in and backed off, taking away the power. But these kicks and these punches from Shalarus are very heavy. Shalarus seems Whoa, perfectly relaxed to stand in the middle of the ring and trade hands. Absolutely throwing bombs, the Iranian. Ting's faking that left kick, just kind of twitching it out there. It's not at all phased, is he, F. Ting, by the ferocity that's coming towards him. In fact, he comes in with an attack of his own that just dropped Shalarus momentarily. Everything that Shalarus throws is heavy laden. He's trying to end the night with one shot every single time. I'd like to see Ting put together a little bit more. He's known for very crisp combinations, but he's kind of just throwing these one shots. He's, he's trading big punches with Shalarus. Surely if one of these Kamal Shalarus right hands just drops onto Ting's chin, it's going to cause trouble. See, Ting's hand, his right hand is a bit low. But he must really believe in those eyes as he just slides ever so slightly out of the way. But he's right there in range, isn't he, he Ting? Is. He must have tremendous confidence in his own timing. And his ability to counter heavily as well. You gotta wonder, when is Shalarus gonna try to shoot in for one of those smooth takedowns that he does so well? But he's perfectly content to stand there and trade with the Malaysian team here tonight in KO. Oh, big right hand from Shalarus that dropped F team, but he bounced straight back up. But still, that's a significant strike with some damage absorbed by Ting. Ting's got to keep those hands up, Steve. Comes back with a right of his own, not nearly as much power in that punch, though. Oof. The almost 40 year old Shalarus is most dangerous early in this fight with these thunderous shots that he's throwing. Oh, what an exchange there. Left and right, both of them landing punches to the jaw. Dare not take my eyes off this for a moment. I think everybody in the stadium, Nagara, shares that statement with you there, Steve. A minute left of the opening round. Evting tries to slide in there with the knee. Barely misses. Nice right hand there thrown by Ting. Landed, didn't it? Grazed the nose of Shalarus. Goes low to the body with a telegraphed hook, but it landed. I can't see this going the distance. Can you? So much heavy leather being thrown around. There's just an absolute hush over the entire jam-packed stadium. <laughs> Everyone's oh, watching jaw dropped as Kamal lands another couple of good punches, a heavy right, and then a really stiff jab. 
Look at the damage on Shalarus's lead leg. Team trying to baseball slide oh. takedown. I've only just noticed that. It's, it's really reddened up. There yeah, it is. Nice. That's the kick that's done it. Goes to the head, goes back down to the leg. What a fantastic opening round that was. And there's two rounds to go. But remember, the judges will score this fight in its entirety. Looking at the whole 15 minutes, they don't divide the scoring up round by round. And what a first five minutes it was. And a big left hand straight away from Kamal Shalarus, the Prince of Persia. That's a really good point by Rich Franklin, how to stop a takedown when you're facing somebody who so aggressively goes for the takedown, you do have to keep your hands low. And Shalarus might have anticipated that, hence the strategy for the first five minutes to stay on his feet and throw big punch, big shots. Switches to Southpaw, FT, and then back again to Orthodox. These coming togethers are just huge. The sound that is made when these two throw. It hurts my sins just listening to it. Leather on flesh and flesh on flesh quite often as well. And I like how Tim throws that left kick. No switch at all, just flips it up there and connects. See, when he throws that leg kick, he drops both his hands down so low. If Shalarus could time that, see how his hands go down? That's not a smart move. If Shalarus can see that coming and land with those big strikes, that might be the end of it. Take a look at Shamal's left knee and thigh just completely changed color from the abuse he's taking from Ting's right leg and the kicking motion. The spinning back fist was a little way off. Yeah, his thigh looks like he's holding a Ziploc bag full of hamburger yeah. meat on his That's... thighs. Nice punches there, a little bit body? sloppy, but they landed and grazed the top of his head. That punishment to the leg bitch will affect your ability to move as the fight goes on. Right front and knee, and that landed, and Kamal Shalarus barely, barely recognized it. Yes, yeah, Steve, it'll also affect the shot. You're not able to shoot in as explosively when that leg starts to deaden, but Ting just took one on the top of his head from a big right hook from Shalarus. It's a left and a right, wasn't it? And they just clubbed home. What an exchange these two are offering us. Silence in Stadium Nagara. Everybody's just watching mouth the gog, eyes wide open. Knowing that if you take your eyes off this for a moment, the biggest bomb could land. We're approaching the halfway mark, and Ting goes in for the single leg there. A straight right hand from Shalarus. The entire contest has been in the standing up. Nothing's happened on the mat. You gotta wonder how many people anticipated this would be a stand-up war. I like that leg kick. I'd like to see Ting go back to it. Throw some hands up top, attack that leg. Whoa. He, 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 he likes to entertain F Ting. That's why the crowd like him so much. That kick fell about three feet short, but it looked pretty cool. Oh, the speed. And there, straight. That jab almost took Ting's jaw the other way. Not quite, not quite as much of F Ting's legs are exposed as compared to Shamal Kalaris, but he's taking some punishment on that right thigh and the left thigh. Shins come crashing together there in the center of the cage. Oh, that was the biggest punch of the night, and it didn't connect. And Tim will be grateful for that, because that came from way back. F Ting. Oh, he took one there inside, F Ting. See, he's dropping his hands. He threw that leg kick. Both hands were down, and Shalarus was able to connect with the right hand. It's been, it's been quite an exhibition of accuracy from the Iranian. 
He's just waiting for Ting to overcommit and connect on his own. You gotta wonder, has this fight shifted either way? It'll be interesting to get Rich Franklin's breakdown after this round nears completion, but the way these guys are throwing punches, there might not be a third round. Final 10 seconds of the second stanza. And has Chalarus extended his lead slightly in the stand-up with his accuracy and the power that he exhibits? Oh, no. A really feisty exchange there. And Kamal Chalarus doesn't like that, and he wants to go across the ring and have a word with their team, but he was ushered back by Yuji Shimada. There's a big flying knee landed by M. Ting, and that looked to be the most significant shot of the night. But there's Salarus landing another one of those hooks as Ting was attempting a low kick and dropping his hands. Rich, how do you have that one? Well, I'll tell you, I still want to focus on the striking superiority in this fight. I've scored both of these guys on damage. Maybe a little internal, maybe a little cumulative. You commented on Shalarus's leg. Uh, Ev's been kind of wobbled a little bit. Those punches are big. I think Ev actually closed the distance in that fight. He had a great combination about a minute in and another great combination about two minutes in. But still, I think he's slightly behind. He needs to do a little bit more to win this fight. Is the internal damage greater than the superficial damage on the leg? Okay, the internal the damage is definitely greater than the superficial damage, but the superficial damage can turn into internal damage if it starts altering the game plan of Shalarus. Okay? And we haven't seen him go for a takedown yet, so you have to question all that kind of stuff. Yep, no takedown attempts, nothing's hit the mat yet. Ten minutes of stand up. And I'd personally be quite happy for that to continue because it's tremendous entertainment. And I just wonder how much Kamal Shalarus would have been egged on by that little after-the-bell punch from F. Ting at the end of the second round. Not that he needs much to encourage him to throw big bombs, but he was angry, Kamal Shalarus. Now Shalarus answered with a leg kick of his own, and he connects again with that left hook. I think there's more intensity, Mitch. I think he was bothered by that late punch at the end of the second round. But he's but taking it looks that like punishment on the knee, isn't he? Oh, he swings hard. Steve, it looks like that Ting has turned up a gear too. So both these guys shifting up a level, trying to put a little bit more behind some of these exchanges. Third and final round. Nothing's going to happen after the bell goes. They've got to get it done now. The last four minutes of our main event here in KL. I like how Ting fakes with the right kick and goes with the left. Very tricky with his feet, but that seems to be where he's doing the most damage. Maybe just go after that leg a little bit more because he's landing it with no opposition from Shah LaRus. Is he connected with a straight right hand there? Single right hand was very nice for F. Ting. Neither of these fighters at any stage have backed off. They want to stay in the pocket the entire time, within range. But not a single takedown attempt from Kamal Shalarus. Very fast work from F. Ting, switching from hand to feet. But is this the takedown? As I said it, he gets the back of F. Ting as he slides under those punches. And that's a good move from the veteran right there. Team was starting to uncork with a little bit of those combinations. And Chalarus changes it up and goes for the takedown. And Chalarus smiles at him. Less than three minutes to go now. You know, the, the fight is close enough to where that takedown could have put him ahead a little bit in the judge's eyes. But Ting was able to stop it, so maybe that moved him ahead. Good right hand from F. Ting, and the crowd really getting behind their man now. Born in Malaysia, don't forget. Half time, half time! Unless something happens, as Yuji Shibata just told us here at the halftime point of round three, this is going to be a razor close decision. I think both corners started screaming out. He's loading up the right hand, and they both threw it. Oh, good, solid left jab from Shalarus. Turned F. Ting's head back. Two minutes left. I think F. Ting's got a lot to do. Wow, both Steve Dawson and Rich Franklin think Kamal Shalarus is winning here in KL. 
We'll get, we'll get your views towards the end of the fight, Mitch. Three judges at Cade side. They have to make the big decision, of course. This one's too close. I might have to make my call after the judges <laughs> render their decision because this one is just back and forth. Both fighters look like exactly as they did in the first round. Both nice and light on their feet, thrown heavy leather. Less than 90 seconds now, and that left leg of Kamal Shalarus has completely changed color. Oh, but it hasn't slowed him down any as he clips F-10 with a right and a left. Those are some big shots landed by Shalarus, and Ting has stood there like a champ and he taken never, on the chin. never backed off, has he? Hands are still down, waiting for that takedown attempt. From the very first second, these two have virtually been standing on each other's toes, and a right hand from Kamal Shalarus gets the cheers of the crowd, the flying knee from Ev Ting. 50 seconds left in this contest, and they're giving it absolutely everything. Both fighters have landed some big shots. They got 39 seconds to turn it on. What a contest. The main event of the evening. I and like that straight so. great right hand leg kick combination by FT. But Shalarus answers right back with a leg kick and punch combination of his own. Inside the last 20 seconds. Team fakes the takedown, goes up top with the head kick. They're still throwing big bombs. Shalaru seeks a big left hand that staggered him for a moment. But I don't think it's going to be enough to end this one. The bell goes, and it goes down to the judges. I'll stick with what I say, and that's Kamal Shalaru. He says, edged it, Mitch. Come on, give us an opinion. I don't know, man. That third round was really close. FT looked like he just did a little bit more in that final round. But the damage, the striking superiority, the way that Kamal Shalarus was able to finish at most of the exchanges by landing shots of his own, I might have to agree with you guys. But let's ask the guy who plays a judge here for us. Rich, how do you have that one? Well, this whole fight comes down to the striking game, and this is a question of, is it the volume of Epting because he threw more punches in that fight, or is it the heavy punches that landed by Shalarus? As far as I'm concerned, I have Shalarus slightly ahead. He wobbled Ev with about a minute left in that fight, a minute 15, and, and, and that's really what kind of solidified the striking game for me, so I have him slightly ahead. Were there any other categories that captivated you in this fight? Absolutely, but I had them about even on damage. You know, the, the leg of Shalarus, a couple wobbles on F Ting. They were both about the same a level of aggression, but the striking superiority was the difference maker. Body language tells us that Shalarus thinks he's won it. F Ting doesn't look quite so confident. What a contest it was. 15 minutes of just bomb throwing. There aren't many people in this arena who knows who's won it, but one of them is Dominic Lau. Ladies and gentlemen, to present the medal for this fight, we have Jason Lowe, CEO of Two Talk. And now, after three rounds of intense battle, we turn to the judges' scorecards. Judge number one scores this fight. In favor of the blue corner. Judge number two scores this fight in favor of the red corner. And judge number three scores this fight for your winner by way of split decision from the red.